Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's talk about the concept of classes. In the previous videos, remember we called them groups, but actually a better name for them is classes or class. So when we have a set of data and we want to group them together in ranges like this, those ranges are called classes or they're put into a class. So we have the class from 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, and so forth. Remember, this concept here was doing a tally, and here we're measuring or at least identifying the frequency of occurrence for each class. There's some additional names and terms we should be familiar with. We should be familiar with the lower class limit, the upper class limit, the class width, the class boundary, the class mark, and the data range of a data set. Now, the upper and lower class limit are simply the highest and lowest value within a class. So in this case, all the lower class limits are 30, 40, 50, and so forth. So these are all the lower class limits, and these are all the upper class limits. So that would be 39, 49, 59, and so forth. So that's how we identify each class with a lower and upper class limit. The class width is the difference between the lower limit of one class to the lower limit of the next class or the upper limit of one class to the upper limit of the next class. So we take this value here and this value and we take the difference. So 50 minus 40, that would be considered the class width. So 50 minus 40 equals 10, or we could take 59 minus 49, 59 minus 49, and let's see, we get the same class width. So that would be the width of each class. Sometimes people will think that the width is simply the upper limit minus the lower limit, but that will not give you the correct value for the class width. The class boundary is the halfway point between the upper limit of one class and the lower limit of the next class. So in other words, the halfway point would be, you add the two together, you get 50, plus 49 divided by 2, which is 99 divided by 2, which is equal to 49.5. So that would be the class boundary between this class and this class. 49.5 is the halfway point between 49 and 50, the upper class limit of this class and the lower class limit of that class. The class mark is the midpoint of each class. To find the midpoint, so in other words, we think of it as the midpoint. The way to calculate that is to take one class, for example, let's take this class right here. You add the lower limit plus the upper limit together, and you divide by 2. So in this case, that would be 129 divided by 2, which is equal to 64.5. So that would be the middle point or the class mark of that particular class. And finally, the data range is the difference between the highest and the lowest data point. So the highest data point would be, uh, let's see here, uh, that would be 95, I think might be the highest one. Yes, it looks like 95 is the highest one, and the lowest one would be 39. And so in this case, for, that, for those 20, 25 data points, the data range would be simply 95 minus 39, which is equal to uh, that would be uh, 55, that would be 56, yes. So that would be the data range, the difference between the highest and the lowest number in your data set. So that helps us understand and, well, talk about the various things about a particular class, the various things about the data range, the way it's kept, we keep track of the data, the frequency, the tally, and now, of course, we have to have all this terminology as well. And that is how we keep track of the different aspects of each class.